Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am sorry I have been gone for so long. I had just so much going on. I dyed my hair and I had an eye problem going on but we got it all better. We're going to be reviewing some new products I bought. So this is from Pods. It is a makeup remover. It is thick so you just take a little bit out, rub it on your face and it melts away the makeup. $10 really cheap. This is Morphe setting spray. You know we all love that. This is the Juvia's Loose Highlighting and it is very pretty. They have a couple different colors. You can buy this at Ulta. I believe it is $12 to $14. I can't remember exactly, but it is gorgeous. It is so pretty. It is a gold color and I'm gonna swatch it for you. It is so pretty and blinding. I absolutely love it and we're going to use it in this video to see how well it applies and how pretty it is on the skin, but I absolutely love the packaging. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter and so far the packaging is simple and it is pretty and I love how it's just basic, it's not too too much, but it is not a jelly by any means. This is a liquid. It's mine is just so liquided you can tell jelly is supposed to be more thicker and this almost spilled everywhere but it is beautiful swatched on the hand and we won't be trying it in this video but I'm gonna test it out in another one so we'll see how well it works and it is a gold as well but not that sharp gold it's more of a champagne um, Morphe brushes and we are going to be playing with some of these today as well the ColourPop brow boss brow pencil and i love its basic packaging the tip is very very thin so it's going to give those hair like strokes but we're going to play with this as well and the wet n wild dewy face primer and it is a more of a beige color so it does have this beige tint to it but when it goes on it goes on clear so you're not going to have that extra little beige color to go onto your skin we will be testing this out as well and that's basic packaging as well these la color glitter palettes and these are very pretty when you see them in the packaging but i don't like them at all you can see when i started swatching them well you get this like it feels nothing but grease. It is very, very thick of grease, very little actual glitters. It doesn't pick up, it doesn't show. Yes, it's $2, but they looked beautiful. I thought maybe they would be even decent, but they're not. So I don't recommend, if you see these, don't buy them. I thought they were gonna be just a glitter, but they're actually like a greasy glitter. Some of them don't even show up. The orange didn't really show up. So save your money. If you see them, don't buy them. These will actually go in the garbage. But these are Morphe lipsticks. The first one is Caught. And it, these are nude colors. And the first color I really love, it's got that brown nude and it's like a satin cream finish because you can see that gloss to it. And then the next color is Fling. It is a darker brown but it looks more of a matte color and then you have tempt i believe it's tempt you got caught fling and tempt and it is more of a mauvey maroon color so it was pretty then i got some lashes and then we're on to jeffree star liquid lipstick and this color is so pretty it's called christmas cookie I've had my eye on it for a while and I finally got it. So we are starting off with testing the Wet n Wild. And this is supposed to be the Dewy Face Primer. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use a little bit more than normal. I am a little dry right now. I've used moisturizer, but I am very dry. So I'm using just a little bit more than what I do, pressing it and pressing it sorry pressing it and pushing it into the face so that we can move on to our next step i ended up picking it a little bit more for the bottom of the face that's where it's a little bit drier 
So next we're going on with foundation and I am using the e.l.f. foundation and it is a satin finish but oil free so it doesn't clog up your pores. I love this foundation. It is $6 I believe and it is just gorgeous on the skin. And usually most of the cheaper, cheaper foundations don't look that good on my skin because my skin is extra dry so it clings. But this one is actually very beautiful. It presses into the skin and it has more of a skin-like finish. It is, um, it's not full coverage. You can build it up to full coverage, but I, I don't. I leave it more of that medium coverage where it has some of the skin peeking through and plus once you put on any concealer it pretty much helps hide anything this is the color pop concealer the no filter concealer in light 12 and this is the perfect concealer for me it is also just this natural looking concealer and i'm taking this wet wild brush tapping it out and i'll press it in with my beauty blender as well but just to get some of it blended out real quick, we're going to use the brush and then I'm gonna press it in with the Beauty Blender. But like I said, this concealer is gorgeous. It, as you can see, it blends in real nicely. It's not too light to where it's just over bright under the eyes. It's just this beautiful color that goes along with this foundation. And I haven't had no problem with this concealer uh, mixing with any foundation it lays well with so far anything I've used I'm gonna go ahead finish tapping out priming our eyelids with the same concealer and Then we're gonna go in with some setting powder the wet and wild photo focus translucent powder and I'm going to use the morphe brush and I'm going to put just a little bit underneath the eyes with the brush and then I'm going to take my beauty blender as well and just tap a little bit on the face to set the rest of my face, but not much. I love doing this routine. I tapped on the back of my hand, so I'm losing most of the powder, but just having just enough to press on top. So when I go in to blend any other powders out, that it will lay very pretty and not cling to any foundation. We're gonna go ahead with eyes, and I'm using my palette that I created from ColourPop and i will have all the names listed in my description box so if you want to go buy these colors that you can but the first one i'm using is a blush and it is called why hello and you can buy this by just the blush you don't have to make it into the palette you can buy it just by itself but i love this color and i am just doing this a very simple basic mauve look today nothing too special or nothing too intense or detailed because this video is really not about how well the eyeshadow is it's about the other products and how well they're working and the giveaway that we're going to talk about at the end of this video so next i'm going in with this smaller fluffier brush from morphe and i am picking up the color labyrinth and it is a more of a deeper mauve color. And these colors are very pigmented and pretty. I love all these colors, which I do wanna start using some of these teal colors that I got so that we can play with those as well. But we will be using some more glitters and bringing the look just a little bit more pop to it. But I am just taking a fluffier brush from Morphe sticking it into the crease and just buffing it on the outer corner and keeping it pretty simple. So I'm just really trying to build up that color to get the crease dark like I want to. So like I was saying at the beginning of the video, I did get my hair done and I decided to go purple. I love how it turned out. It's very pretty. 
and I love the color so to anybody that's just watching my video it's not one of my wigs this is actually my hair you can see the roots are a little bit darker now I'm going in with the actual bronzer in the palette and I'm picking that up and putting it just in that outer corner to build it up just a little bit more so that was the first week when I was gone I was getting my hair done it took me you know having the whole hair being bleached out which looked really crazy and then just also the following week when I was going to get back on and do the actual video then I ended up getting this eye infection or just where it felt like something was in the eye all the time and it lasted a couple days I did not want to sit here and get any of my makeup contaminated so just for anybody who needs to know when you have eye problem if it feels like something's in your eye your eyes real red do not wear makeup you contaminate your makeup and then you need to throw it away because you can keep passing it from eye to eye and with the way makeup is so expensive I don't feel like wasting any of my makeup so I did not put anything near my eyes or do any of my makeup for the days that my eye was hurting and really red and messed up so I'm so happy to do my makeup for the first time in two weeks so I went ahead and did my little half cut crease and we did that with the color pop concealer and now we're going in with these beautiful glitters and I'll also make sure to put those in the description of what colors I use because I use two which is a rose gold and then more that it has a brownish purplish to it so these I both love these glitters they're from ColourPop as well and I'm just tapping them on to make sure I get everywhere that I need to get be careful with these I should have done these first because there ended up having glitter all under the eyes and it was really hard to get off so now I'm going in with the Maybelline City bronzer and we're going to go ahead and bronze up the face a little bit nothing like I said nothing too detailed or nothing that we're gonna really carve out too much or really be defined about uh, because like I said this is not about the overall complete look this is about how the products that I got are working with other products and how pretty they are how pigmented are they worth your money so I'm gonna go ahead and just contour just a little bit and I love these earrings that I got and they go so well with this look they are beautiful so I will have these linked below where you can get any of my jewelry so that you guys can get some and for five dollars you can't beat it so next we're going in with some blush and this is from the Tarte color wheel and this is called icon and it is just this beautiful mauve color as well so it just goes with the look I don't know why I picked mauve today it just happened that way I want to do purple and teal but I decided to do something pretty simple we're gonna go ahead and spray the whole face and then use a beauty blender to tap all this out and if you guys don't have this microfiber sponge yet this sponge is absolutely wonderful but make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to see if you can't get you one so next I'm going to carve out just a very very little as you can see I'm not using much powder at all just a little bit to help redefine but we're going in with this Juvia's loose highlighter and I'm so excited I swatched it and played with it in the store and I fell in love so I just want to see how well it works but I love it it's so gold it's so pretty and it is blinding and I could have even made it more blinding but I don't like it for this particular look I think this would be better for a more bronzed look but with this I would have went for more of a lighter or sh um, champagne or silver or uh, rose gold highlighter instead of this one but this one is beautiful like I said I love the packaging the packaging is stunning 
you get so much product and there is different colors I was going to buy the lighter one but I picked up the gold instead so I'm probably gonna have to go back and get that lighter one but I do highly recommend these they're beautiful so we're gonna go ahead do the under eyes and just use the Y Hello blush from ColourPop and then the Labyrinth and that's all we're gonna do for under the eyes nothing too hard at all for this look like I said we want to keep it pretty basic but I will be putting on mascara that is Essence Lash Princess and I'll also be doing some lashes and eyeliner those will be listed down below but we are going to go ahead and test out this ColourPop brow pencil and I'm sorry if you can't see I didn't notice that my mirror was in the way but I love this brow pencil. It is so nice. One, it makes hair like strokes because the tip is so fine that it really gives that definition. And I'm not putting, I'm putting medium pressure to this. Um, today I really wasn't working about, worried about them being perfect. I was just playing around with stuff. But one, it matches my color perfect. It's brunette and they had a lot of colors to pick from but it was perfect it's simple it's easy to use and that's what i love about a brow product product i don't want it something that is very hard for me to use or having to work through the brows the product is not too too pigmented to the point where you put it on and if you make a mistake you're you know you've done messed up with this it glides on very simple it goes on it's easy it is perfect for a first timer when you're learning to do brows. Highly recommend this. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with the Essence Soft Contour Lip Liner in Lost in Love. And then we are going to be trying out a lipstick, Jeffree Star Christmas Cookie. And I, at first, when I first tried this, I swatched it on the back of my hand and I'm like, okay, it's a basic liquid lipstick. No. One, it stayed on for forever. It was so hard for me to get it off my hand. I washed it, washed it, washed it, and it stayed on, which I love because it means that it's kiss proof and it's not going to transfer. Second, the color is gorgeous and the formula feels so good. So Juvius, yes, highly recommend the highlights. Go buy you some. I'm gonna go buy me some more. The Elf, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna play with it in another video. The Wet n Wild, Mm, it's not dewy. My face is still matte. It's still dry. These LA colors, forget it. Garbage, trash, don't buy them. Don't waste your two dollars. Pods, I recommend it. It's good. I've used it one time, but we're going to use it some more. The Jeffree Star, most definitely buy the lipsticks. Eighteen dollars is worth it. Morphe lipsticks. I've already had two of them. I love the two that I have so far. So these three will probably be just as good. I love Mor Morphe brushes and these are doing really good. And the Morphe setting spray, perfect. So the look turned out very pretty. I loved it. So to begin the giveaway, one, you must be subscribed to my channel, like this video and leave a comment to be entered. This is the June Cone Velvet Sponge and it is the microfiber. This is still in the package. It's wonderful. I have one. I use it all the time. I love it. I can't live without it now. I think it's better than the Beauty Blender. So, remember, it's gonna be in this giveaway. I have one to put in the giveaway. So, make sure you enter to get one. You can see the difference between a regular sponge and then this microfiber sponge. Next is a white nail polish from Pop Fizz. And everyone loves nail polishes. And I decided to add a white one because you can't go wrong with a basic white polish to do French tips or anything like that. So I wanted to add that in there. And then I decided to put in this paparazzi bracelet. It's a stretchy purple and silver. And it just goes well with so many looks and it's pretty color pop super sock super shock shadow and this is in the color purple and it is very creamy and beautiful 
Next is from Wet Wild and it's called Wet. And this palette is so pretty. And I got it for you guys because I know blue is really in right now. The packaging is gorgeous. And you get all these beautiful blues and then some neutrals as well. So I wanted to put this into the giveaway. And then we got our last two pieces. This is in a big giveaway, but I will be doing more giveaways as my channel gets larger. You have these beautiful earrings. These are rose gold and they move about and they have some diamonds on one side or some stones, you know, rose gold stones, very blingy, pretty. And I love these. These go with pretty much any look that you can wear them with. They're beautiful. I love them so much. So here's the back and they got the rubber backs to them. So it's not the metal ones, which I love the rubber backs so much better than the actual metal. So then you got this matching necklace that comes with earrings as well. So you have two pair of earrings actually for this necklace, but the necklace is matching the earrings, the first set of earrings I showed you. But with paparazzi, when you buy any paparazzi necklace, you get a free pair of earrings. So I decided to get you guys some jewelry and giveaways. I don't see many YouTubers do that, but I wanted to add it. So I thought you guys would love these, they're beautiful. So remember, subscribe to my channel, like, leave a comment, you'll be entered, and in a week, I will announce the winter winner and I'll draw a random name and then I'll announce it in a week in one of my videos. So thank you guys for subscribing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enter the giveaway. Um, I don't know when the next one will be, but if you keep watching more videos, you'll know. Thanks guys.